Hello you guys, welcome to a new vlog. I, oh, I have had a bit of a um, rough week and it's been a great test for some of the things that I learned or I've been learning in the last couple of months. Like it's been a great moment for me to pause and be like, ooh, what am I really applying uh, from all the different things that I've taken in the last few months from uh, books I've been reading, therapy sessions and all of that. So it was a bit of a rough one, but I finally feel like, uh, and maybe I started to feel like this um, yesterday too, today's Friday, but I finally feel like I'm able to kind of center myself in the truths, the things that actually matter and my values and principles. And I've decided <laughs> that I'm gonna give myself a bit of a glow up week. I actually made this decision uh, a couple days ago when I realized, oh, oh, wait a second, if I don't do something, I'm gonna start to feel a certain type of way. And so I've been doing little things that just make me happy and, and maybe little pampa sessions. And some could be as little as opening a new bar of soap because, um, I don't know if this is overshare, but I hand wash my undies. Maybe this is overshare, I don't know, but I do. And I like to pick like beautiful scented and maybe even like handcrafted soaps. I just feel like it elevates it and just makes it a little bit more special. The one I'm using now, um, it's by Nude. I think that's the brand. Um, although I think the batch I have is not my favorite because the first ones I got, which was a gift from Patricia, I loved. So I went out and I purchased others. And uh, the scent is cinnamon, so it smells so good. Um, and I, oh, Anyway, my point is, it's like little things like opening new soaps and I had my nails done, which I was complaining about a couple of videos ago because they were just breaking and it was painful and messy. I went for something that is so understated. You can't even, like if you look at it like now, you can't tell that I've done my nails. And I tend to like my nails this short too. Um, maybe a little bit longer, but I'm definitely a short nails girl. Uh, I've been trying to eat better, like so watching what's going into my body and focusing on gut health. I just had some yummy, yummy lunch and I've got my kombucha. This one is by Booch. They are uh, my current favorite and my go-to brand of kombucha. I'm gonna leave a link down below as to where you can order it um, because they do deliver from this place I'm gonna tell you. Um, uh, actually, I think I've even talked about it. It's uh, my mom's store. <laughs> so I forgot that I've mentioned that my mom does have a store. So if you want some kombucha, you can order it from them. I'll link it down in the description box. Um, and I'm just dedicating the next few days, um, like four or five days to doing things that I guess I mean, I, I think I've been consistent about doing, but I just wanna be even more present as I'm doing them, just so that I feel like I'm loving on my body and I'm just giving myself a little hug. Um, oh, what did I see? I think, I think I may have seen, and this just came to me just now when I said that comment, but I think I saw a comment, and now I can't remember if I did see it or someone sent me a screenshot, of someone saying that I sound um, so full of myself and I just have to say if you're watching this and you are the person who thinks that I, I, I'm not I'm not ashamed of that and I and I think it's Oprah who I heard saying that when someone was like oh my god she's so full of herself and and Oprah's response was like actually I've worked really hard to make sure that I am full and I'm my cup is full and I would urge you to kind of stop and see what it is about me that you really find grating because chances are that's something in your life that maybe you haven't fully recognized as um, like a trigger for some reason but it, it, it does not it has nothing to do with me god I've really gone down a, uh, like a wormhole here but you know what I mean I feel like a lot of you guys will know what I mean because I used to have that uh, in one of my jobs I'm not gonna say which one but there was someone at that job who would get to me. And I, and like, <laughs> I remember I'd just speak to Patricia like, I can't, I can't deal, I can't deal with this person because she would just say things and I'm like, did you even give thought to what you just said? It would be so grating to me. Um, and really also some of the things she'd say, I just don't agree with, like she'd, she'd make comments, like blanket statements, like, ugh, I just don't like work, having a female boss, it's just, it's just going to um, change the dynamics and blah 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 and I hate it like she would just make such strong comments where it's like 
no, you don't get to do that. But my reaction wasn't just like, you know, acknowledging that I disagree with the statement. My reaction would, like in my heart, I'd just have to step away and like vent to someone like, Arr! why would, why does she just say whatever comes out of her brain? And I realized, and it took me a second, but I realized I found it especially grating because that's something I don't do. I, for the longest time, never really prioritized or centered my voice. So even online and even some of the things that I've been talking about this year, it's like I'm trying to give my voice power and say the things that I mean or think and put it out here. But I would be so terrified. So when I see someone else just do it with such ease, I'd just be like, but I, I've spent my whole life trying to make sure that I am soft enough and meek enough and like I'm, I have to say the perfect thing and not that I do clearly because I'm sure there are things I say that are wrong or frustrating to people but I think multiple times before I say something not always but you know what I mean I think social media has kind has kind of just jarred me in some ways um and so to see this woman just speak so freely I couldn't understand that I was like but that's I don't I don't know how to do that so why are you doing that so easily and I didn't realize that that's what I was doing um, and so from the moment I understood that about myself I was a bit better about how I my interactions with her and it wasn't as um, frustrating kind of having to be in her space because I just understood like ah in this moment it's not just about what she said it's the fact that she's got the guts to say it um, yeah now, <laughs> all this was for what? I don't know. I don't know. It's like sometimes you switch on the camera and you just start talking and things come out of you and you don't know if it's valid or it's going to make sense or if, it'll leave, or if it'll even make it to the vlog. So we'll see if all this ends up on the vlog because I might just be like, it's too much. It's too much. Stop talking. Um, what my plan is for the evening is to wash my hair, get rid of the braids that I've had for maybe three and a half weeks now and I like to keep my braids on for like two and a half weeks to three weeks like I don't want it too long I, I, I don't want my hair to start um, you know how hair gets after a, a little while like after a long while with braids like it just even gets harder to kind of comb it out after and I've stretched this out for as long as it, I can and you can see you can see so my plan is to do that I will be talking to you guys about a Mizani product that I've been using for must be over a year now I will check and confirm um, but it and I want to say if, if it's not over a year it's about a year now um, and it's the miracle length but I have to give you more details about that because it's a special kind of product it's not like a regular shampoo that you just throw on this one you kind of want to hear about um, and it's for anyone who has issues with like um you know those moments where you just look to the side and you're like okay my hairline doesn't look quite like it used to before but we're gonna t talk about that like i guess i guess i'll tell you about that once i'm like really getting into washing my hair <laughs> just a sec i is that my phone I'm squatting and it's not the most comfortable, but I'm gonna try and make this week quick. The book I'm currently reading is 28 Summers. Oh, uh, there, can you see it? Yep. Uh, this is my 15th book of the year. I feel strong about hitting my 21 books in 2021 goal. I think I'm gonna make it, which makes me very excited. The last three weeks, I've managed to read a book every week, which I just wanna keep going strong for as long as I can. Um, one of these bags, I do have, I do have one thing for myself, but it's mostly a, a gift for a friend. And the thing for myself is gloves. I got a pair from Decathlon a few months back, but it seems like I may have, uh, misplaced them. So I've got myself another one of these, although the ones I had last time were actual like gloves. This just helps with like when you're hanging on the bar and I'm not fussy like if I'm doing just a couple of like I don't know swings or whatever um, I don't know if I'll reach for them but if in a workout there are multiple I don't know kipping swings or knees to chest or um, what it actually should be which is toes to bar and I, I don't have that well I have one of those maybe two actually I have two I have two toes to bar what am I saying um, uh, but if it's multiple then my hands really 
suffer. And I've got lots of calluses. Uh, you won't see, I don't know if you could see any of that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not fussed about that. I used to be, when I first joined the gym, I'd be like, ah, my hands are gonna be so bad, no boy is gonna wanna hold them. And then I also got, I got, besides getting a gift for, for my friend, I also got a family member an early Christmas present. Well, a Christmas present. It's a Christmas present. I just got it super, super early. <laughs> so it's like for Christmas. It's gonna be Christmas soon. Oh, and then in case anyone's wondering, I'm wearing all Kenyan pieces. Um, my bodysuit is from uh, Zoya which is on Shop, Shop Zetu, and my skirt is Bloom Kenya. I was running around the, oh, also look at that spot. I'm gonna call it my little stress spot from this week. But I was running around the house trying to figure out what to pack or package the uh, gift in for a friend of mine. And I just realized that maybe even a year and a half ago, I bought a bunch of these boxes from Miniso, which is a place that I haven't walked into in a while. Miniso is, Ooh, it's a trap. It's a trap. You go in there without an agenda and it's over for your bank account. It really is. Good thing is things are like really fairly priced. So thank the good Lord it's not going to like really damage your wallet. But it's also just still a trap. <laughs> oh, it's just so convenient to have something pretty to present someone's... Um, gifts in and this is actually one of the things that I wish I was better at like I wish I had a section that had wrapping papers and I feel like I've got wrapping paper somewhere else in this house but I do this thing where I save them in different places and then if someone gives me a really good gift in a really beautiful box I and they haven't written on it like happy birthday Sharon I'm keeping the box and I'm reusing it for the record morning you guys as you can t see I was gonna say tea as you can see hair is all undone washed and refreshed I have not had my hair out like this in a minute and I don't know why I think I just I don't I, mm, I don't know but I haven't had just like my little fro out like this to go into the world in a while um, but I feel like this is what my hair needs just like a moment to relax so I've got about 30 minutes before I have to leave and I thought that I would do a couple of things with you. I wanna open some PR items because we haven't done that in a minute on the vlogs at least. But I thought we could do that together and I could also have a quick chat with you about her hair. But specifically, hair loss and like the kind of awkward moment that women have but don't often talk about because it's a little odd and I don't know we just don't often address these things but if you have been on my vlogs for a while then you may have heard me talk about this specific Mizani product it is their miracle length this thing is a godsend if you have been dealing with any kind of hair loss or hairline issues that come with either giving birth or stress or braids and like just any any kind of hairstyles that cause a lot of tension so like holding back your hair in a tight ponytail that kind of thing if you are keen you may notice that hairlines are not as thick as they used to be uh depending on how old you are or how long you've been styling your hair in a particular way or what part of your life you're in right now um that is if you've just given birth for instance but this is really good and for a couple of reasons one it's got castor oil and we all know the benefits of castor oil but the other thing that i think is special about this product above say home kind of home diy type products or or that kind of that that kind of thing is the fact that it's got it's got stemoxidine in it it's got five percent stemoxidine it is an active ingredient i don't know a lot of hair active hair ingredients like that we've heard a lot of that in the skincare space so you'll hear of hyaluronic acid vitamin c uh now i can't remember anything at all i can't even remember what i usually use on a regular basis but it's all in my bathroom right now i they've all escaped me but you know the active ingredients that you kind of look um look for if you are trying to solve certain skin care issues and there's different ingredients that help target different things salicylic acid 
acids in general for instance you'll hear a lot of that in the skincare space but we don't talk about it enough in the hair care space or maybe we do and i don't know i don't know but stamoxidine is one thing that has um stuck out for me ever since i i learned about this product last year it's particularly good for trying to stimulate hair growth um but not if you are uh balding so i i'm, I'm gonna try my best to explain this without butchering it but i would advise you if you don't know much about it also just do your google research but from my understanding if you have any kind of hair cells still there then this will help stimulate hair growth but if you've really maybe been braiding and it's been so tight for so long and it's been so many years then it might be near impossible um to get those hairs back so i don't want to sell this as like this will solve all your hair dreams put this on your scalp and your hair will shoot out of your roots just like never ending and you'll have rapunzel type hair that's not what i want to do and that's not what i, I want to pitch right now what i do want to pitch is that if you've got like hair issues say you can notice that you can see your scalp a little bit more because you know parts of it seem like i don't know like i couldn't see that part of my scalp before but now it seems like there's less and less hair this might be something that you want to reach for um i particularly have been focused on my edges that's where i felt a little bit conscious i mostly felt that after giving birth but i also i think because of um just not really being so careful on my hair journey that i would be like hmm am i missing a little like is are my is my are my edges quite how i left them um and that's why i reach for this i've said it before here but this has become a part of my evening skincare routine um it's something that you're supposed to put daily on your scalp on your clean scalp it's really easy you use about a dropper of this so it comes in a dropper like so i've already used it um because i was trying to film something that needs to go up on my reels but i'll show you a little i think you've seen me use it actually before in vlogs so i won't show it again but what i do is with the dropper um this much amount i just take it all around my scalp and it the viscosity of it is very runny it's like water so it's not thick um and i make sure that it doesn't come into contact with my skin because i realize if it does then my skin starts to get irritated like here so i try and lean back i go everywhere and then i allow myself like a one minute massage which also goes towards helping to stimulate hair growth um and i think these two things like i've definitely noticed a difference in my uh hairline i've used this for a long time this is actually my second bottle this retails for 4500 i believe but i'm going to leave everything in the description box in case you want to check it out for yourself um i'd also just say like anything else that has active ingredients you want to try and use this on like patch test it first and see how your skin reacts um because for instance i could be here and talk all day about hyaluronic acid but i know people who are like meh not going to touch that or niacinamide or vitamin c although most people seem to be okay with vitamin c or the many active acids that we are trying to reach for when it comes to our skincare um but also do your research but i'm, I'm just like i'm just here to tell you this is the plug if you have any of those issues that i've talked about this is going to be your best friend ladies and gents um again all the details will be in the description box and i should also say that this is in a partnership with mizani who i freaking love um and i've been using their products for a long time now for a year at least a year ever since they introduced it to the market so that consumers can actually purchase it because um if you remember you could only ever access mizani at a professional salon but then last year in 2020 they made it available so you can go and buy it um in a number of different places like like a beauty yeah and a couple other places too but I'll, I'll leave all the details in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out i wanted to shout out the lip combo as well now that we're here talking about what i've got on my lip combo is uh la girl lip liner chocolate that's the shade and this maybelline lippy that is just I don't know it just feels very pretty and very like calm like this feels like the kind of lip combo that i would wear over and over again 
because it looks like my lips but better it's that it's that kind of vibe i'm gonna pack this in my bag right now i'm wearing the dress that i think we all agreed is not a grandma dress <laughs> did we all agree i don't know if we did but i'm just gonna put it out there this is uh from max um and i don't know why i kind of just want to wear it up to have this square neckline even though i do think that's really cute too i might change my mind i don't know uh i've got now about 20 minutes before i need to leave the house so let's go open some boxes together oh my god guys this is massive i don't know if you can tell in proportion to me but this is this is massive oh i have to say i feel really really blessed to be in a position to receive pr products it almost feels like it's your birthday or christmas or something and it's just it never gets old. It never gets old. Um, I think there's a number of items in this one bag from different brands, but I do think my PR uh, handler, I don't know what else to say, but she kind of put everything in just this one um, bag, and you can tell this is from Vintage Picnics. <gasps> I'm so excited to go for a picnic. Actually, my friend's birthday is uh, kind of like a picnic setup style, but she's arranged everything, so this will probably not feature there, but I'm definitely going on a picnic very soon. Um, I would rather be outside than inside. Oh, this was established 2020. Okay, so like pandemic, deep in the pandemic, I guess a lot of us were feeling like, oh, I wish we could go out. And I did have actually more picnics in 2020 than I've probably ever had, ever. I think I'd just kind of gravitate towards that as like, let's go outside and do this. And you'd, you'd know that you were safe enough because you could just, I'll have my blanket and you'll have yours there. Um, so I get, I get why they, they started it. Oh my God. Is this from Vintage as well? I love this. Also, I've decided I'm gonna wear my dress like this. I just feel like I should show a little bit of skin because I did see a little bit of sun peeking out. I'm assuming this must be like your drinks or wine bag. Okay, the note says, hey Sharon, the sun will be out soon. When it is, we want you to be ready to enjoy the outdoors conveniently. Mercy, vintage picnics. This is so lovely. Okay, so there's two identical bags. Don't tell me this is a cushion cover. Oh my gosh. This is so well thought out. And a second one as well. So two cushion covers. And then for the main thing. Oh, oh my goodness. It is so well thought out. And so, it, like, it's like it's a it's a proper. There's salt and pa uh, paper. There's salt and pepper shakers in here, guys. Look at this. Look at that. I like. What a beautiful blanket, and I love. Ooh, don't close up now. I love this print. I love this black and white. It feels really, really stiff though. Oh, because the inside is not your regular Maasai blanket. It's like, it's like not, um, this is meant to add, it's got a little bit of padding is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh my gosh, do you think this is a chopping board? I think this is a chopping board. Oh, lunch bag. Oh my gosh, but also look at all the cutlery. There's wine glasses in here. Like, little ones, but there's wine glasses. Oh, this is now the crockery. So the plates. Oh my, this is like a, this is, this is as decked out as it's gonna get when it comes to picnics. I wonder what these are for. I wish, I wish they had a note that kind of broke down like what's in every single bag so you would know. Because um, I don't know, this is this where you put the food? But I can't imagine this being it because it's harder to carry. Maybe it's where you store some of these items. I don't know, I don't know. But um, I just know that I'm excited for my next picnic. Okay. The next items, which I also believe are the only other items. Oh, there's one more, but I don't know if I'll have time to open that one. Um, but these 
two pieces are from Yara and Co and it is a home decor company that I believe just opened up recently I'll obviously link them down below as well for you guys oh wait no these aren't <laughs> These items in here are from uh, Green Thing Kenya. I, I forgot. I bought toothbrushes. I needed toothbrushes and I tend to buy mine from Green Thing Kenya. The, the one I go for is the soft bristle um, in the beige tone. And I would suggest if you are buying toothbrushes to just go for them because it's just a little less plastic going back into the world if you care about um, that or if, if it bothers you but also like aesthetically I think they're also pretty if that's also a vibe for you and if you're not particular about like I don't know this specific toothbrush must be the one for me um, and until I'm I'm buying myself like really fancy electric toothbrushes I'm just gonna keep going for green thing Kenya I'll also link them down below I bought those and they have a deal like if you buy a pack of six it's for a certain price if you buy a pack of ten it's for a certain price I went for the pack of six Here's a, here here's the thing here's the thing I I'm I try to be specific about the PR I accept and so that it's not just like things coming and I know it's not my style or I, do, I know it won't it doesn't resonate with me um, and then I've just accepted someone's product for the sake of it I try to be specific about that and even if I do say like yes sure I'd love for you to send an item more often than not I will ask to select the piece so that it really is a reflection of my taste my style my interests i do remember picking these items but i forgot what items they were and i've just seen it now and i've remembered why i was like oh my god that 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 vase looks really really pretty oh wow i just oh do you see do you see it do you see? Do you see the pumpus grass coming out of here? Do you see the eucalyptus overflowing out of this marble ceramic pot? It's not a pot, it's a vase. Although I wish it was a pot too, that would be cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think on camera, the grains of the, um, the, the faux, marble effect like that isn't really coming through i think in person you can see that coming through a lot more oh oh i should have started with this first of all it says thanks so much for taking a chance on my small business means the world to me hope these pieces bring you that same joy i had all these years ago oh bless you i will leave all their details in the description box as well oh wow okay so Oh, okay, so, oh wow, this I did not, I did not anticipate coming, I guess she threw this in. It's, it's, it's a glass bottle that's got my name on it! This, this is what I saw and I thought was so beautiful and I will go back and get a second one. But this is a candle holder. How gorgeous is that? It's so beautiful. Oh, right, so I can either put it this way, which the candle will be quite big, or put it this way, which would probably fit perfectly. And I think this, if I buy the candles that fit here, they are absolutely just decorative. They're not to be used, ladies and gents. You will never see me light those candles up, ever. But I'm gonna buy a second one just so that I can have a pair. I think that would be perfect. Oh, no, she added candles too. These must be candles. No, wait, no, the candle is here. Sorry. What is this then? Oh my gosh, the candle is here. I'm gonna buy a second one. I'm buying a second one. Definitely, I need two of these. So what is this? Oh, it's a metal straw. It's a metal straw. I've got a bunch of these. Um, in my collection actually I got mine from metal straws Kenya and it came with its own um, pipe cleaner and then we've got some of the prettiest looking candles that I could also smell immediately I opened this box up I don't think I'm gonna burn these candles I'm not gonna lie they're just they're gonna be decorative I don't think I'm gonna burn them because how do you burn something that's in the most beautiful sage green color 
I feel like they're vibing with my dress. I feel like this whole thing is vibing with my dress. I'm just, thank you, thank you so much. I will leave all the details in the description box as usual. I'm not just gonna have to run out of the house. Um, do I need to do anything? No, just put my shoes on and get like a cover up and uh, pack my lip products in case I need to do a touch up. <laughs> rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound F*** my post, this ain't now, I have been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah, tell them all to move on Hello you guys, good morning. I have just had my workout, which was a killer. I am 100% certain that by Sunday, my quads, my hamstrings, my butt will be on fire. Like I will be unable to walk. Um, but it's okay, you know, we keep moving. My goal is to try work out four times a week. Obviously I did my workout at CrossFit. I am now sat with a... a smoothie which I thought was gonna be a protein smoothie but they ran out of protein and so I'm like no I almost want to pack it and go home and add my put I think that's what I'll do I'll actually just pack it go home and add my protein powder to this uh, but I wanted to fill you in on my week because we haven't actually spoken in a in a minute it's been a while this week has kind of been um, just uh, lots of sitting in front of my laptops lots of like you know, just putting out fires, just things that life brings you and trying to figure things out there. Um, lots of new ad oh! ow, ow, ow. not ow, but like ooh, ooh. new additions and now my hair is stuck somewhere. Um, but I've got new piercings. Seriously, my hair is stuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to uh, undo that. <laughs> But I got two new studs, you guys. I got um, I got them done at uh, Body Shock at Yaya, and I freaking love them. I had them done on Monday. Today is Friday, um, and it's something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, oh, and then at some point this week, my mom and aunt came and spent a couple nights at my place, so it was also like family focused, a bit of that. Um, but I do feel that it has been as much as possible a week of filling my cup. I went back to my self-care toolkit because I wrote things down that I could do whenever I feel like I'm not 100% or to just like do double of something um, but it, there are also things that I try to do all the time so it's not I, I don't just do them when I feel like my cup is running on empty I try and keep up with these um, activities or things as regularly as possible and there are things like working out trying to eat uh, uh, intuitively or better um, cuddles when it's possible uh, reading uh, so I just have been really keen to follow those those items on my self-care toolkit so on the agenda today uh, Fatma is coming over uh, we are going to try to create some content we shall do that both today and tomorrow I am determined to just be as focused as possible because I need for this week to be as productive as it can be. Um, right, I think I'm gonna go pack this and um, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go pack this as a takeaway, add some protein powder when I get home, and I'll speak to you guys when I'm in the house. Changed no, first showered, fresh, clean, and changed. Um oh, ooh, ooh. Let me tell you, I really could use with like a nice blowout. But for now, I'm gonna keep my hair like this because I really want to give it a rest. I don't know why I just feel like my hair needs extra, extra love and just like a little bit of care and just not too much uh, tugging or heat or anything like that. My ear, my piercing, which again, I really love is feeling a little bit itchy and I feel like that's usually a good sign like you, you know you're on the right path if it's starting to itch right because that means that there's like healing taking place which is a good thing <sighs> I needed Vaseline 
Uh, let me position you like that. So another big thing that I haven't shared with you guys, which I can't believe I completely forgot. I think this morning I was mostly, when I spoke to you at the gym, I was just mostly uh, tired and like, I, like not fully there because that was a tough workout. Um, but I have some uh, updates when it comes to my bedroom. Uh, on Monday, I had a meeting with um, the Terra Studio team and kind of shared my vision for the bedside tables. Um, so that's underway. I'm also so grateful because when I was sharing my mood board with Womoyo, who's the woman behind Terra Studio, she was like, oh, have you found a vendor where you can get carpets? Try this person. Oh, do you know where you're gonna get door handles for your closet? Try this store. Oh, do you, are you thinking of getting a mirror like that? Try this brand. I was just like, you were amazing. I did hit a bit of a bump when it comes to budget though. I'm positive that I can still make it work and I'm so glad I gave myself like a two month window to make it happen just so that I don't feel overwhelmed. But um, I suspect that there won't be many updates in the next couple of weeks until things settle down on my end. I do need to say <laughs> that there was also some paint work that took place. In fact, the gentleman who started the painting, and he started it yesterday, is back doing the doors today. I'm not sure how I feel about my color scheme, <laughs> which isn't even much of a color scheme because it's as like monochromatic as it's ever gonna get in that it's black and white. I don't know, maybe I went too black. I should have gone like for a charcoal gray, which is initially what I thought I would have gone for too. That's what I initially wanted. But I just, I'm, I'm a little panicked. I feel that it looks very, um, at the moment at least, it looks very clinical. Like it's just too sharp a contrast. I'm hoping that once I get furniture back in that room and I add warmth in the tones that I, talk, I shared with you guys in the mood board, that it will start to look a little bit like the vision I had. I don't think I'll show you guys snippets because I do want this to be like a big reveal on a video on its own and I have vlogged bits um, here and there in the last couple of days, especially with the painting. So I'm getting that video sorted. Anyway, a friend of mine got me a couple of dresses. These are both from Pretty Little Thing and I thought I could try them on and show you guys what they look like. So I'm going to get out of my jumpsuit, which is not zipped up. Oh no, this is Boohoo. Um, uh, I'm just gonna get out of my jumpsuit and try. I thought my jumpsuit was also from Pretty Little, Pretty Little Thing, but it's not. All right, so they're both, uh, if I, as far as I can tell, they're both UK size 10. Um, and the first is a white dress that looks so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to put this on. It looks a little sheer but maybe it's just how no in the light a little bit but i think maybe once i have it on it won't look so sheer i also never wear things that have such a deep v so i don't know how that will look but i'm gonna try it on all right this is dress number one i think it's a little little smudge too big and i can tell like by the waist like there's a couple of inches that could go in but i do feel like if i had gone for size eight it would have been now too tight i freaking love the sleeves like this billowy sleeve is my jam and then the back is nice and simple it does cut down quite low like i'd suspected i am just wearing my little bralette from forever 254 uh inside nothing that goes all the way it's not see-through which is what i was scared it would be but you can't obviously you can tell you can't see anything um <laughs> pardon the dirty mirror you can just see fingerprints all over the place good luck having clean mirrors with toddlers <laughs> i just feel like it it would do so well if it was just a little bit tighter around here because you can see like even from the boning it's supposed to be like really structured i like this kind of thing i like this kind of thing soon we're going to be back to school and i like things that i can also easily go into like school pickups without being like uh, uh, i should put more clothes on which is usually my problem when i'm at home because i'll be like in sports bra and like something tiny and sometimes i'm like maybe maybe i should have put on a sweater before going for school pickups <laughs> second dress 
Oh God, first of all, the print is so pretty. Look at that. I love it. Oh, this is my jam. This is my jam. It's got like a mock neck up here so it kind of goes quite high up and i love that detail the sleeves are more sheer than here so i love that it's got a double lining or double layer just so that you feel like no one's seeing anything and i feel like once i put this on the sleeves are a little have like a you know a little drama to them i'm not entirely sure i'll have to wear it and then we can judge for ourselves but i just just by looking at it i'm just like please god let it fit and work right because i love this so much and dress number two is on i have to say i do think this is a dress that needs like hair being pulled back like a sleek ponytail would show off this dress a lot better than the big hairdo that i've got um i love i love this i love this um print so much the florals i love it i also love that it's got an elasticated waist, which means that it kind of just goes back and cinches in nicely around um, the waistline and kind of sits. At first I was a little worried when I picked it up and I thought there's no way I'm gonna get into it till I realized that it stretches. And I also like that it's got like, a, what would you call this, a little puff situation. I think this dress would be incredible if it was like mid-calf, which, to some people, that would officially make it a grandma dress. Um, to me, it would just be the ultimate. I do think this length is, like the length is not quite, quite what I usually wear my dresses. So I usually will go for like mid calf or like super long or shorter. But I do think if I have a, dress, uh, a belt with this one, it might change things. Wait, let me, let me try, try a belt and see. All right, so. Belt is on. I have to say these belts from Max are like, it's just, I'm so happy with them. I, I got these uh, a couple weeks ago and they were 1,200 for two belts. Um, right, so I've obviously belted this and because this dress already has a natural waistline that I think would work really well on tall girls, it, um, like, I'm not mad about the fact that it doesn't sit perfectly here, which if, if, oh God, that stain, that stain, it's going to drive me nuts. But you can see it, it's got like a, what am I trying to show you? That it doesn't sit perfectly because the natural waistline should be a little bit lower, but I'm using my belt, which I've put quite tight around my waist. Um, and then I kind of lifted my dress up, my arms up like this, and then I allowed the dress to fall back wherever it was going to fall, which then naturally it comes to that length. And I think this works a little bit better on me when you see a little bit more of my legs. <sighs> but I love this so much, I love this so much. This is, this is my jam. I actually have a shoot on Monday, and I think this is what I'll wear. Yo, you guys. This girl forgot that she had an 11 o'clock Zoom meeting and was busy vlogging instead of getting ready for that meeting. So I was like seven minutes late, which I feel like in Zoom world, that's like 15 minutes late. It's like double the time in Zoom world. Um, but anyway, had the meeting, it was really good. And I then started working on a reel, which has just gone live. I have also taken so long to clean my ears. It's now midday. This is something that should have been done in the morning. But you know what? At least they get cleaned twice a day, and that's all that matters. And the instructions I was given is to dip the cotton bud into the saline solution on both ends. Um, just once so don't, no double dipping and to use one end to clean the front which is what I'm doing and I'm trying to go literally uh, like round the piercing like round and round the base and then the other end to clean the back uh, my hands are clean too I'm not about to again like I said I'm not about to cause any kind of irritation, I don't know, scarring or like weird keloids. And I know I'm prone to getting keloids because I've got one on my chest. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible.
um, which means house of peace. That's what Fatma says. In what? In Arabic. In Arabic. Um, it is clearly super stunning. It feels like you're transformed to some place in, I don't know, Italy, maybe? Like, where would you... I don't know, it just doesn't feel... I think it's even the arch there, like the mm -hmm. entryway there. Um, it was a little difficult trying to get in, and people... It seems like you can only come in with reservations. Did we have a reservation? No. <laughs> but we are just we just ordered uh, our drinks. We're both having um, mocktails. So mine is a uh, lemonade, and you've gone for like a chamomile lemon spritz. Chamomile lemon spritz. Um, and we've gotten some really beautiful photos. I foresee myself coming back here many times. It's just the traffic to get here. <laughs> Let me tell you, I sweat through my dress, like, it's just that, thank God it's white, so you can't see so clearly, but Fatma could see the patches, like, right under the boob and right near the tummy area. Um, in case anyone's wondering, I did boob tape this up, and I think it looks so much better without the bralette. Fatma is the one who was like, have you got more of that tape? Because maybe you could... <laughs> lose the singlet, put the tape on. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy our drinks and then head home, right? Yeah. Maybe edit a little? Yeah, Yeah. We'll sure. see, we'll see. Cheers, sis. You have to cheers into my shot because there. <laughs> I've had to put my hair out of my face because I was about to just jump in the shower. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. Not a quick rundown, it's not gonna be a rundown. It's just to comment on um, my experience at where? Beit Salam. Beit Salam. It's a really beautiful space. Um, we only had drinks, so we can't comment on the food or anything, or I can't comment on the food. But I think there might be a few teething issues now that, because it's not even officially opened. I should say that too. I don't, that's what someone said, right? Mm -hmm. That they've not officially opened. So just certain things there weren't a hundred and I'm going to put that on the fact that they're not a hundred they're not officially opened but also I would urge you to book make the booking and then maybe the experience will be um, a little bit def a little bit different that's what I'll definitely do um, next time I'm headed headed over to Beta Salam yeah okay <laughs> Another day, another outing with my sister Fatma. Have you started your, are you filming? No. You're not filming. Yes. Um, we're, we're both trying to film more of vlogs. And then now we've sat down and I'm having a dawa. Fatma is having an iced tea. I think she'll have gelato after. Yeah, she's gonna treat herself to something tasty. But we are at eight. This is a restaurant I've been to once before um, and I remember when I came here I had such good vibes because the person I was with was just like so wholesome and in fact I'm, I think I'm gonna message I'm gonna message her to just be like thank you for that day it was so special you have no idea how that conversation shifted things for me um, but it's so beautiful it's got such an eclectic vibe um, the floor is this like monochromatic black and white tiling so these kind of like, is it chess or yeah, chess play. squares? I yeah. don't know. This is what like, right? Cause I don't play chess, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> or checkers. So the floor is like that. There's really cool artwork, like paintings on the walls. The furniture is, like I said, quite eclectic. So different corners have different vibes. It is so beautiful. I would highly recommend this spot. They also have their chicken lollipops. What do they call it? Like, uh, it's kind of like, KFC sticky wings, but like elevated sticky what? wings. Like it's on another level. When I was here last time, I think I ordered those twice. I was like, it's okay, I won't have a meal. Can I just have like many rounds of this chicken? <laughs> Thank you. So good. Um, right, we're going to enjoy a conversation. We're just talking about how, um, just how life is never smooth sailing and you just need to kind of be better at weathering the storms because mm -hmm. it's never just going to be good vibes. You'll you'll not you can't wait for like ah oh, you know in a couple years when I am married and I have this really well paying job and I'm living in this leafy suburb suburb that's when I'm going to be able to be the happiest I've ever been. Yeah. Like you can't that's not how it works. Um, it's like a year will have some really good moments and then some down moments mm -hmm. and it's just about like being better at balancing how you react to those moments right yeah. essentially 
There she is. Pasta Kanyari Dio Hio Kanyari 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 Dio Jina Yake. Sharon doesn't know about a lot of things, guys. No, no. Okay, and can I just tell you, I get my 411 from Patricia and Mondi. Like, if they don't tell me what happened, I have no idea. And even now, know. I've even started like. I I tuning out of yeah. like what's going on. Um, like I'm I'm also trying to get out of that space of yeah. trying to be like, what's going on in the in the in, in on Twitter yeah. or like I've, I've, I'm also starting to just get out of that because it it it's not serving me and it, yeah. I find myself like spending a lot of time scrolling Twitter to see what's the tea now. Oh, because somebody put a tweet about this and it's like okay, so this this drama. <laughs> okay, that's so where does it begin? And then you an hour yeah. you put. <laughs> Three dots together. <laughs> I've stopped doing that. God. I'm trying to be offline yeah. a little bit more to meditate. Yeah. And to get back yeah. into the space of creating. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because I don't know what Pasta did last year, mm. last September. I Like, I don't feel like I'm like, oh God, I need to know, I need mm. to know. But I also appreciate that I have, when it when we do have these conversations, like either with you or with Mondi, mm. I really am like, wow, yeah. what? And, and I like, and, I, and, and sometimes I'm just like, I can't wait to see Mondi again because Nan said, Mondi, because you would know. Yeah, you and know? understands the dots better than I, like me, I'm just coming in like, and then what happened? And then what, whatever. Sometimes um, I want to text Mondi and be like, hey, Mondi, Mondi, hi. So, have you seen? <laughs> But I really, see, I just, really, yeah, like you'd have to, so, literally, and even on, I think that's why even, like someone asked me who do I follow on YouTube and like how do I, I, I literally follow the people who I have on my phone book and would speak to. Oh wow. You know, I, I kind of just stick to like my little. I follow Casey Neistat and Casey Neistat follows me. That's all I need. Yes, on Twitter. That's all I need. Um, okay, I think we're now. Like yeah, I'm with you guys. Like, News are so depressing nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, but even if it's not depressing, you know what I also don't like? Mm. Um, it's even like the whole, ooh, what happened? I don't like that energy yeah. so much. Even though I think it's juicy and yeah. I'll be like, oh my God, what happened? I but mean, I'm, be I honest. Don't. Okay, not that you were hiding it, yeah. but she's also like into the real, real whatevers. Yeah, no, I love it. Which I cannot. I love it I know so much. Nini, Nini Pekeake. No, Nini. first of all, I think I've watched every Real Housewives, at least for sure, of Beverly Hills it's, that ever yeah. went up. I love it, yeah. and I, I think one of my favorites is even Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And I don't even, I don't, I don't. Which me, for, for me, that. honestly, yeah. and because you remember when you were saying you can even talk in like Kardashianese, like the statement yeah, that they made. Yeah, Kardashianism. And so we all Bible. have our things. I'm not doing that. Like, I, I, Bible, I didn't go there yesterday. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm with it. But I wouldn't also go online to see what drama is mm. happening with the Kardashians. Like, right. I'll be conscious of like, yeah. Oh, I don't want to keep up with the what they said right. um, about you. So mm. I can take it from them. Yeah. But I have an issue taking it from like the streets, the yeah. Twitter streets, the tabloid streets. Mm. The that's where I'm like, hey, yeah. I don't know how I feel. Um, should we say goodbye now and, and say tell you our next book? Oh, we haven't shown you the next book. Our next book is uh, The Girl with the Louding Voice. Hallelujah. To Shanghai, to Pigema, Coffee, Navigere, Gere, The Girl with the Louding It's actually the same day, but I'm in a different outfit. And as you have seen, I'm with my girl, Patricia. We've just done our. I was gonna say July, it's not July. Our August book review, which was uh, uh, Transcendent, Transcendent Kingdom. Transcendent Kingdom. Guys, I have to remember to make sure that I read the book that we are going to be talking about as late as possible. I'm gonna be trying to leave that as like the thing I read 10 days before the live because mm -hmm. it's a struggle for me to remember anything. It's generally a struggle for me to remember things, but it's especially difficult when I've had other books between our book that we chose and then the actual review where we talk about it. But it was really good. It was some interesting things. We found that Patricia is uh, well set to be our pasta and you can only know if you joined in on the live which I hope you guys do I'll leave a link to chasing paper books in the description box because it really is one of the things I'm most proud of and I'm most excited about the fact that I get to do this thing that I love so much which is reading books with a good friend of mine but also with people who are 
book lovers as well. Mm. We're at Soma Nami, which is my first time coming here. And I think it's also recently opened, right? Yeah, three weeks. They three weeks, so it's not even a month yet. Mm. Um, and it's just a really good setup. Like you can come and have coffee, have a glass of wine, and of course, shop for books. Mm -hmm. And I love going through bookstores. Like you can see they've got a whole range of not just books too but like stationery and you've got like notebooks here i have read this book uh let's see what else is here i've read this one i've got a copy of this one and i'm going to read it soon i've read this one and this is the one i'm currently reading oh i'm not even pointing it properly um oh we read that one. Oh, was that one of our picks or just, it wasn't? No. Huh. 40 Rules of Love was, hasn't been our, our pick. Um, but it's a recommendation from Patricia that I really enjoyed. I haven't read any other Bernadine books, but I did read Girl, Woman, Other. Hmm. What else is, ooh, Vanishing Half. I want to get this book. I have read that book. I, I want to get this book. I've heard so much about it. Oh my god, being in a bookstore makes me so happy. I have a feeling that if I don't stop vlogging now, this will be the longest vlog ever. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. And if you have watched this far, an extra special heart for you. And um, I'll leave all the details in the description box, especially to Mizani and the product I was talking to you guys about. That is the Miracle Link. I've also got a live, oh, but the, by the time this goes up, the live will have gone. So, man, that's why you should be following me on Instagram so that you catch up if I have any lives or cool things like that going on over on my Instagram. But I'm just going to say goodbye now and I'll see you soon. Bye.